Hi, I'm Mike McCormick here at GBTA Legislative Summit. We're here with Representative John Katko from New York. John, thank you for being here today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And congratulations on your second Navigator Award. Uh, fantastic, well-deserved. Thank you um, very much. You've made a lot of uh, strides on behalf of our industry in a very short period of time, and we appreciate you doing that. Um, so first off, you made a big uh, announcement in the room that you're introducing a pre-check is pre-check bill. I can't resist but ask about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, basically, as, as we just discuss in, in, the, in the hall, there is um, um, there's this habit at TSA to take people that are not in pre-check and let them go through pre-check to do line management and crowd management. Right. And uh, we just said it's got to stop. We tried to get them to stop it with respect to managed inclusion, and they've kind of stopped managed inclusion, but they're now doing this instead. And we just feel that, um, number one, it's a service that needs to be paid for, and number two, it's a, it's a security gap if we continue to do this. And we're, we're told, basically we're going to say you can't do it, and if it continues as a problem, um, the people in the upper echelons of TSA will not get any bonuses. So you really, you know, take in on T, uh, TSA in general as a challenge. You know, you, you mentioned, uh, you know, there's been clearly a, a number of administrators in the, what, six in the last... Uh, Since I've been in Congress in three and a half years. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, lack of stability there. But you said there's some progress. I mean, talk about that effort and, and where you are, where you feel you are in the, in the effort with TSA. They're much more responsive than they were. Right. Um, like, for example, when we got there, there was many complaints about the service quality, uh, lack of service quality with... Uh, the TSA officers. There's now an academy that they've opened up, right. and they're putting everyone through the academy. They're, they're, they're professionalizing the ranks much more. They are much more responsive and timely uh, with our requests and inquiries, and uh, I think they're getting it. I really do, and I, I like the leadership now. I think he's great, and I think uh, if we can get him to stay for a five-year term like my bill proposes, that bill passed the House, by the way, right. uh, that'll give some stability, which they sorely need, right. and uh, keep going from there. Right, that's great. Um, big issue always is funding. I know you've been working hard on getting funding for better technology, basically the equivalent of a, uh, is a CAT scan and using that technology on the front lines. Talk about that a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Right now, um, we have uh, technology that's really lagging, lagging behind the bad guys right. who are trying to do harm to us. Um, Europe is implementing a lot of these, a lot of the technologies, and a lot of it's American technology, especially the, the CT scanners, which are basically 3D scanners. They have them to such an extent now that they can go through and they won't even have to look at the bag unless there's an anomaly found by the scanner. And imagine how fast you can, you can have throughput with that and crowd reduction and line reduction and increased security. And the fact that American companies makes, makes these products on scale, they're at European and uh, Middle East airports, and we don't have them in the U.S. yet is ridiculous, and so we're trying to get more money for them to do that right. and trying to prod TSA to get, 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 get them to the front lines faster because they're already being used elsewhere. So as GBTA, I mean, clearly this is uh, one of our biggest issues is TSA, security. I mean, it, what makes the difference for our membership and certainly for the entire industry? What more can we be doing to help you? Well, doing what you're doing. And uh, but you flag the issues, you crystallize the issues, and you get them to me. In a, in a concise manner, and then we can act on them. And we listen to you. Obviously, you can tell by the talk we're listening. And you help us flag the issues. So keep doing that. It's really important to hear from your constituents and have them filter it up to you and uh, from you to me. But also, like what I heard today, there's some, some, some suggestions about do you do a questionnaire about quality of service and get input from people. That's what the name of the game is, giving us the feedback so we can then act upon it. And enrollments, because we want to tackle enrollments with corporations. We'd love to see, you mentioned in there about, you know, helping us, you know, get the attention around getting people to, uh, you know, bringing TSA to the corporations, using their communities Absolutely. to drive enrollment. We need help. You know. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. It's going to be part of the bill that I'm going to introduce. Right. So pre-check is pre-check is a bill, but we're also going to have a component of that that's going to basically incentivize businesses to have all their employees in pre-check. But also we're going to try and incentivize airports to have kiosks at all the airports like they do in Syracuse. Syracuse went from almost nobody in pre-check to more than 50% of the traveling public in pre-check awesome. just by having a kiosk yep. at the airport. Terrific. Terrific. Pretty simple. Again, thank you for all your work. Yeah. You're truly a champion for our industry and thank these you. efforts. You're truly deserving of your second Navigator Award. Everybody, uh, Representative John Thanks Kaka, a lot. I appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. And appreciate I'm Mike it. McCormick, live here from uh, Dirksen Senate Building at GBTA uh, uh, Legislative Summit 2018.